this is Quentin with uh, Lawn Care Accelerator, and uh, with me I have Garrett Smith with Augusta Lawn Care of Glendale. Yes, sir. And um, yeah, I'm excited to have you on the podcast uh, because when the the first one we did, uh, I think a couple people commented like, "Oh, like I, I like I'd love to hear what you know Garrett has to say." Um, obviously, I think because uh, of of kind of what your story was. Um, you know, just having things stolen and back issues and, you know, all this stuff. And, uh, so it sounds like you've, you know, come a long way. Uh, and so this is your first year with Augusta. First year with Augusta this time, this time. Yep. Okay. Maybe we'll get into that. Um, but as, as far as like, uh, what is like one thing that either you wish you knew when you first started or what's one thing that you think would be like a good piece of information for someone out there that, you know, um, you know, maybe they might be struggling with something or they're looking to start their own business. And, you know, looking back, your situation was like, oh, yeah, I wish I knew this or I wish I would have done this different. Yeah. And first off, I appreciate you having me on this. Uh, super stoked to be on the podcast. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think one thing. Um, when I got started this spring, um, before I even joined Augusta, I was like, oh, I should get, I should get back in the lawn care business. Cause I've done this before. Um, <clears throat> so it wasn't completely new to it, but I really had like a lack of confidence in my own ability to sell and market, even though like I've sold and I've marketed in this industry before, for some reason, just being out of it a little bit. Um, I think my confidence was shaken. So immediately my mind went, oh, let's make like an acquisition. I had a little bit of money set aside. And so I bought out um, an aeration list of maybe like three, 400 contacts. And I was like doing the numbers and I was like, oh man, well, it's only this much like per like phone number or whatever. And I was like, oh, it's a great decision. But then when I, when I compared that acquisition to the money that I would have gotten as a return from effective marketing, um, I really was like kicking myself. I was like, I should have just spent that money on marketing to recurring mowing customers because I'm trying to build like a mostly mowing business. And so I wish I would have had more confidence in myself to market and to sell. And then also like spent more time on educating myself on that, um, which I think I got there, but I think initially I was going a little bit roundabout by trying to make an acquisition, um, too soon. So you mean kind of like a, a shortcut, a cheat kind of? Yeah. Yeah. So I spent, I think it was $8,000. Um, it was about a thousand dollars in equipment. And then the $7,000 was like Goodwill, which is, um, you know, like the client's phone numbers and they didn't have emails. They didn't have clients names. <laughs> it was a terrible, <laughs> terrible acquisition. I think it was like, shoot, I think it was like a little over $20 a phone number, but I was like, oh man, like yeah, I'll just, I'll just aerate all of them. I'll get my money back. And then like, everyone's going to sign up for mowing. Right. Well, uh -huh. come to find out, oh, these people are wanting aeration for like a third of what I should be charging. Um, oh, they don't man. want mowing. They're like aeration only, no fertilizer, no overseed, nothing. So, so no upselling. Yeah, there was which no selling is huge. And I was being like super op optimistic. I was like, Oh, I can just double the price right off the bat. And then I can just upsell them. And then half of them will just sign up for mowing. When in reality, if I would have taken that $7,000, I, I pretty easily, in my opinion, would have been able to get 70 recurring mowing clients with that. So just with effective marketing. Um, but yeah, you live and learn. So 70, like, man, you could have turned that money into like a fountain of money. Oh yeah. Yep. Instead of, did they want aeration twice a year or just in the spring? We will see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'm about two weeks away from aerating myself, so yeah, yeah, you'll have to let me know uh, what 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 happens with uh, all those ones you got. Yeah, I, I think it's more of a learning experience, but we'll see if they. I mean, I was able to raise the price on some of them, but most of them were like, "No, this guy always did it. Um, he always did it for thirty dollars." And um, maybe in other people's markets or labor markets, you can aerate for $30, but you can't do it here in Denver. And, no, uh, it's, it's, make money. it's only getting more expensive yeah. to live here in the state. Yep. Um, so what, what area are those, uh, customers in? They're, uh, like, or just what, a little what kind bit of like of size yards or something. Um, they're almost all under 5,000 square feet. Okay. We hardly do anything over 5,000 square feet. So they're not massive properties, but still you just, you can't aerate those at $30. And I think, 
it was less a problem that I was aerating lawns at $30 because I was just getting started. So it's like, well, let's just, let's just get some momentum. If I got to sell an aeration at $30, that's fine. But it's more the fact that I paid $20 to sell that aeration for $30. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't get all those three, 400 clients. So really I paid like $60 to get like a $35 <laughs> aeration. And if you do the math on that, um, it, it doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't work. Yeah. So what, what are your aeration prices now? Like for, uh, a new like for a new customer what yeah maybe? currently we charge two times the mowing rate so we're trying to not um right now our current like it's not a hard minimum but basically our minimum for mowing is forty dollars per weekly cut we just charge double the weekly cut price um next spring that'll go up to triple so you oh, know it's dang. 80. So 80 right now to 120. yep dang that's awesome yeah <laughs> So how many uh, square feet would that cover? Because the way I do it, my I do it based on like every thousand square feet, it's 30 bucks with like a $60 minimum. Yeah. So with Command Center, um, we fill out a pricing matrix for and them. Command Center is... Uh, the with people, Augusta. Yep, with care. Augusta. Okay. So um, they answer the phones, do some of the office work. Um, and yeah, they do... Um, some of our uh, quotes. So they'll uh, measure the property on Google Earth Pro. Um, they'll take that square footage, they'll plug that into the calculator that we've created for them, the, the rate matrix. And then based off of, I mean, ultimately it's based off of time, like how long we think it's gonna take us. Um, so, you know, we figure a 5,000 square foot lawn on a weekly mowing we can do in in 30 minutes. So at $80 per hour to the customer, that's $40 per cut. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so why don't you tell people how you and I met? Cause I think this was actually like one of the, one of the coolest things that's like, you know, ever happened to me. And, um, you know, one of my friends, you know, called me a social media influencer when like I told him about it, but, you, you. I, but I thought it was cool. And yeah. So, yeah. So I moved to Denver about 12 months ago. So, um, 2021, August, 2021. Um, and I'd done lawn care. I moved from Idaho. I'd done lawn care. Basically that's the, the only work I had done in like high school. And then, um, the summer after I graduated, but I moved here, um, to come to college and then I, I was gonna get into the like the aeration and the mowing game and I was like, okay, I kinda gotta figure out this market. And so I was like, how am I gonna figure out like when like we start mowing, when do we start aerating? I don't know any of this. So I was like looking on other people's websites and then finally I was like looking on YouTube and I found your channel for one, one of the videos must have had like Denver in it, like Long yeah. Care Denver or whatever and you popped up. So I was watching some of your stuff, trying to figure out like, okay, when, when can I start aerating? <laughs> um, when can I start mowing? Like what services do people want here? Just trying to figure out the local market, which was, it sounds like it shouldn't be a hard thing about like moving from one state to another, but still doing lawn care. But that was one of the other hurdles that I, I think I underestimated with just learning the market here in Denver and like what clients expect and what they want. And then like the you know, when the best time to market is in spring, when do we start mowing? When does the grass start growing? When does it stop growing? I still don't know. We'll find out. But, uh, uh, this, this spring was like a strange anomaly. Like I was not cutting lawns consistently until like towards the end of May. Yeah. I think just because, you know, we hadn't got any moisture and everything was like so dry and no one turns on their sprinklers <clears throat> until at least mother's day or yeah. after. And it was like, it, yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I'm right there with you on that one. Um, but yeah, I've basically been watching your videos, like not enough to where like, I was like, oh, that's the lawn care ninja. I've seen him <laughs> all over YouTube, but it was enough to where like, I saw you like aerating a lawn and we were doing like, we were installing a patio, like on a neighbor's house uh -huh. in March. And I saw you and I was like, I know that guy. How do I know him? And I was like, <laughs> Okay, I don't know him through Augusta. Is he in Tigran's group? I was like, he's not in Tigran's group. How do I know this guy? And so I like walked down and I looked at your truck and I was like, I've definitely seen that truck on YouTube videos. It's like, <laughs> I think it's a guy that I've been like low key stalking. Like it's gotta be him. So like, I, I don't know why, but I like just stopped you in the middle of your aeration and you're like, I mean, you, you're out there like working hard and you're breathing heavy and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> sweating. Hey, yeah. like you're like, you're on YouTube and you're like, like what? Like, 
and you're like, oh, oh, you've seen you've seen my videos. Uh, I was, I was, I was like, like, yeah, I, I do YouTube videos. I wasn't expecting anyone to like recognize my truck or whatever. Yeah, yes. yeah. I, I had like like I was up I was up top, aerating the top part, and I remember seeing your truck. And then you kind of like walking down, like you were looking for something. Yeah. And then you like walked back and you like looked at me and you like weren't sure. And then you like waved or something. And yeah, you like came over and yeah, I just thought that was, that was kind of cool. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse because you could have been like, oh, this is one of my competitors. And then I've been like, oh, okay. Like we'll buy But um, yeah, no, I'm very glad I uh, took a chance and introduced myself because it's worked out well. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I don't view... Like, I don't want to view other companies, you know, as competitors. Um, you know, I think in one of the other videos we did, or I did, Long Care Accelerator did, you know, it's like, there's just, there's just too much stuff out there for like one company to do. And, you know, like, I want you to be successful and, you know, get, get your pricing where it needs to be. And, you know, yep. I'm sure you want that for me. I want that for the other people, you know, that come here. Cause it's like, if everyone, you know, gets their prices up and, you know, starts becoming successful, then it's like, you know, it's, it's going to make everyone's life better. Absolutely. You know, for yourself, if you have a family, if you have kids, uh, you know, a spouse. Um, so yeah, like that's just my view on it. Nope. Right there with you. So you, uh, you're with Augusta Lawn Care. Um, how do you like Augusta Lawn Care? I absolutely love it. Um, it's been like one, one of the best parts of my short life thus far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Andes, is he, uh, all he's cracked up to be on YouTube? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first time I spoke with Mike, I, I kind of like, I'd been following him since probably he was about 600 subscribers. So pretty early on, like I remember like before he was franchising, like I remember like him announcing, yep, we're getting into artificial turf and like, you'd have to go so far back on YouTube. Cause now Mike is like, no, don't go into the construction, like focus on this, this, and this. But, um, before he started franchising, I mean, he was still doing estimates like every day and I started following him. And so like to see the way he's been able to like progress, um, has been amazing. But finally, um, yeah, once I first like got on a zoom call with him, it was like, you, you like you're having a conversation with him. And I just remember it was supposed to be a consulting call about me joining Augusta, but it was almost like a coaching call. Cause I was getting into, well, here's my current business. And then he was giving me advice. And I was just like, I was just blown away about like how, like, spot on and how like you can like ask him like any question just like out of the blue and the way he's able to like formulate an opinion and, and give you like solid advice based off of his experience mm -hmm. um that really amazed me but like ultimately like his character when you see him in person and when like you i mean you can probably see it through youtube but when you talk to his employees when you're around his team like you really realize like this guy's the real deal so so that when when you got onboarded that was um like a consulting call. Do you have uh, access to them at all? Yep. Like yep. Be, being in the franchise. So all the franchisees have access um, to Mike. We can submit questions. And then every morning he goes on a live um, private mastermind with the franchisees. Um, and he, he'll answer like any questions we have. Oh, dang. Yep. And That's we, actually pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's, it's priceless. not easy to do. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> yeah. He's insane. Yeah, that's cool. Um, all right, so we are uh, getting g gearing up for uh, fall here. Uh, do you have any plans for the fall, uh, the winter, and uh, the the spring of 2023? Yeah, so right now um, I'm getting a little healthier, so I'm starting to get back in the field. Um, so really um, – the one employee were uh, so the past two months it's been about one full time guy with me not doing any work. We've, we're sitting around sixteen thousand a month um, in total revenue, and uh, just trying to ramp up. Hopefully this month to get close to twenty thousand with me starting to add on some more work, starting to do aerations, and then hopefully you know break through that twenty barrier and kind of um, you know fill up fill up the schedule I guess with aerations and with leaf cleanups and you know bush trimming and mulch. Um, whatever we can do. I'm really hoping that there's a fall rush and that I can pick up some mowing clients. Um, if the grass starts taking off or, uh, if a lot of the like chucking a truck start, uh, going out of business or like <laughs> just, you know, you know, stopping, I personally haven't seen that yet, but I'm still holding out. So we'll see whether that happens or not. Um, and then, 
you know, late October, early November, we'll start doing Christmas lights. Oh, Christmas lights. Yep. Yeah. So super excited for that. I kind of did that on the side last year. I'm hoping to be a little, a little more professional this year and um, do a little bit higher numbers, but, um, and then go in next spring and uh, hopefully higher up. So, so that 16,000 that you mentioned, was that pretty much all mowing revenue? Yeah, I would say at least 80% mowing revenue. Oh, wow. Because we were pretty much at capacity for what one full-time guy could do. We were honestly probably over what one full-time guy should do. Mm -hmm. Um, But we were able to – I have one employee right now. He's amazing, one full-time guy. And uh, he was able to complete those lawns every week. So. And you you didn't help him or he Mm -hmm. didn't have someone else? Nope. He's doing 16 grand? Yeah. Wow. It's I I wouldn't expect that in spring and I wouldn't expect it in fall, but in the summer when the lawns are a little drier, yeah. it's the one one time that you can kind of beef up that number. Yeah, unless you just have a really high hourly rate or something <laughs> or <laughs> crazy density. Well, I mean, you know, here it's like we're it's it's a pretty arid uh, environment. We don't get like actually this this summer seemed to be pretty wet most yeah. afternoons because of like the monsoon which was kind of nice mm-hmm. but yeah like you know once once you get into the the hotter parts of the the year you know the grass starts slowing down things dry out and it's like you know you can zip through all these lawns you know like it's nothing and instead in the spring you're just like yeah it, it, it'll never end yeah the, the summer balances out the spring when you're like oh man like yeah. we can't hit hit our times on these lawns we're like struggling to catch up but uh <laughs> it's nice to have the summer months where uh you can get things done a little quicker and then you start getting cooler temperatures which is really really nice today was a today was nice and cool i, I really like that uh so as far as um doing the uh, Christmas lights. Is that something that, uh, you're getting help from with Augusta or is that something that you're deciding to take on, on your own and come up with your own pricing? Yeah. Great question. Um, so one of the owners in Augusta nation, um, his name's Ryan Payne. He just absolutely kills it on Christmas lights. He's got, you know, like certifications and he's been doing it for a number of years. And so um, Augusta actually had a conference this summer for the, for the franchisees. And uh, one of the main points of the conference was just training um, on how to do Christmas lights, you know, the business behind it, how to actually install them, what products to use, where to source those products, when to market, um, just everything you could think of. And so, yeah, I am getting, there's, there's training through Augusta and then also like they're helping me on, you know, we already have it up on our website. Um, that's all taken care of. And then, um, obviously command center will take the calls and, uh, schedule the estimates for those. So if people want to, uh, get in touch with you, um, you know, maybe they might have a question or, you know, maybe take a look at your website, you know, kind of see, uh, how it's like laid out some of the words you use. Uh, cause I imagine your SEO is pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the things that I think people underestimate is, uh, you can have a great looking website, but if it's not optimized, it won't rank well. Um, so yeah, you can feel free to look at our website. It's Augusta lawn care services.com, um, slash Glendale. And then the email should be listed on the website. If you want to reach out to me, you can just email Glendale at Augusta Lawn Care Services dot com. Okay. Yeah, and I'll leave uh, those in the description down below and and uh, probably put like a lower third on the on the bottom of the screen. Awesome. If, you know, people want to reach out to you and ask you questions and um, yeah, because I know in the uh, video uh, the meetup that we did where everyone was here, you know, a couple of the comments, you know, they were like, yeah, I'd love to you know hear more from Garrett and stuff. So. Hopefully, if uh, you guys, the those two comments, if they're watching, um, you know, hopefully they comment again and you know, maybe, maybe reach out to you. But uh, yeah, Garrett, uh, I appreciate you being on the uh, podcast with me. Uh, it was great catching up with you and uh, looking forward to the next one and uh, wish you nothing but success. Absolutely. Same for you. All right, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and go ahead and hit that like button for Garrett over here. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next one later.